What's going on y'all? I'm back with another video and in today's video I'm gonna be bullying some top ladder players. Basically, it was a really long week So I figured I'd take my anger out on these guys in game of course that <laughs> sounded a little bit weird But anyways, let's win some games here And of course the most toxic deck I figured I could use is this uh, Royal recruit goblin giant deck. This is my favorite deck. I don't want to say I'm a one trick, you know, but this is definitely my my most confident deck my strongest deck so Currently pretty high on ladder. I think we're just outside of the top 1k, so maybe not quite top ladder right now, but let's get up to top ladder in this video. Uh, this guy, what is he playing? Maybe Royal Giant? I should have been paying more attention to the cards he played. I think we're going to go Goblin Giant in the back here. Basically, the goal of this deck is to get to your Evo recruits as quickly as possible because, oh, he has recruits too. Anyways, as I was saying, it's really, really hard to defend the recruits in single elixir, especially the evo recruits, so you kind of want to abuse that. Let's rage here. Interesting poison. I mean, it will kill the minions, but yeah, I guess that wasn't that bad. But we can just split archers in the middle here, and I think everything should die here. One of them's going to walk, but I think that one archer will kill it. Let's just go royal recruits at the bridge. He doesn't have his recruits in rotation, so I'm not sure how he's going to defend all this. We'll find out. Oh wait, Skeleton King's actually pretty good. And now I'm not going to have my recruits in cycle for his. Okay. Well, this is not good. Um, I'm scared, y'all. I'm actually a little bit scared for what he's about to do to us. I need to get back to at least my normal recruits. That way. Let's go in here. I need to get back to my recruits so I can defend his. Let's at least kill most of this on the right here. Not bad. Okay, yeah, well, I mean, we full kill his recruits. Yeah, that works. We'll take that. I was a little bit nervous, but I guess we just go in. Split archers here. I think from now on, I'm going to play smart with the recruits. I'm just going to play this deck like basically just a goblin giant deck and just play the recruits on defense if he goes for his. Except now would be a good time. Let's go recruits. <laughs> I'm going to go back on my word right away because that was... That's looking like too good of a time to protect that Evo Archer and also create a little bit of pressure here on the right. Look at that right lane. This is uh, looking decent. We're going to have to defend over here, but I think not quite tower down, but that's going to be so much damage on his tower. We can go Fisherman too. Keep the Skelly King just away from our tower. Yeah, look at that. Down to 419. That's lightning range, so that's going to be good game. We'll take that win. Hit him with a little bit of BM, and I will see you all in the next match. Jumping into the next game here against Nathan. And I'm feeling confident after that last one, so let's win this game too. We're going to split the archers. Okay, we're going to have to go fishermen here. Distract the mortar a little bit. Um, Let's see, what he wants to do here. <laughs> Everybody's BMing in here. Shout out to you if that's you watching the video. Whoever is in here BMing with me. Alright, uh, is that going to get another shot? No, okay, good. That would have been a bit annoying. <laughs> Let's get to our Evo recruits quickly. It's probably going to go for his ability here, but that's all good. Um, nah, I was going to say, what if I go in, but let's play it smart. We can go Goblin Giant down here in the back. That'll take care of the Guardian. We can minions up here on the Little Prince, but I do want the minions to stay behind, so I'm going to hold off on it for a second. That's going to do a lot of damage to my Goblin Giant, though. Unfortunate. Okay, we're going to let that go. We're just kind of cycling, you know? Like I said, we want to get to those Evo recruits as quickly as possible, so. Oh, yikes. Archers need to shoot the minions. What are they looking at? There they go. Okay. We're all good here. I think we're just going to drop the royal recruits here. We might not get damage, but uh, we would force out the Evo mortar, probably. So... That's a good thing. I don't want him to be able to play that on attack. That's definitely his win condition here, so. Go Goblin Giant over here. He's probably going to have to cycle to his Evo Mortar. There it is. Let's just Rage. Just take it out. Try and maybe break through, but I don't think. Uh, that one Royal Recruit's going to get a bit of damage over there. We'll take that. Take that for sure. Split our Evo Watchers here. 
Just clean all this up for free. I'm not sure about that ability. We have Eva Watchers on the board. I think we're going to have enough to split our recruits now that he did that. Protect our Evo Watchers. Just try and get some value out of them. Also, we're cycling back to our Evo Recruits and doing this. So, I think this is a good play. It's going to log and knight. Not bad from him. We can go Goblin Giant. He might mortar the bridge here. But if he does that, I think I'm just going to ignore it. Mm, let's go Fisherman over here. Tank it up a little bit, but I'm not going to defend that any more than that. We're going to go in here. And he's going to Little Prince, so we're ready with the Lightning. As soon as he plays that Little Prince... It's got to come down right about now. Let's lightning. There it is. Perfect prediction. Right before he gets the ability off. That's massive. That's going to be so much damage. Let's go with another goblin giant into this. That might be a little bit brain dead, but it should force out his mortar. At least. There's the mortar. Okay. We're back to our evil recruits. I think we're one off of our evil archers. Oh, archers on tower. One, two. Not bad. It's actually only two lightnings now. That's really helpful. He's probably going to go evil mortar at the bridge here. Uh... Let's go Fisherman first. This could turn into a decent Lightning. I don't think I'm going to do it though. I want a Lightning on his tower. So, Minions up high. We'll take care of that. I think we can just Goblin Giant as well. That's going to tank for the Mortar. And force him to defend. So, can go Archers down low. Help clean up these Minions. We're in a really good spot here. Okay. I want to play this smart. So, I'm not going to go in for the Lightning yet. Split Recruits again. We just need like... I don't know, a little bit more damage. We need to break through one more time, or he just needs to give us some lightning value, so. I feel like one bad lightning, and I could lose this game, so that's why I'm not just going for it right away. Hopefully that catches. Nice. Really good goblin giant catch there. He's going to have to go for the mortar, and we're going to get some value here. Okay, that's going to be a good game. Yeah, there's no way he's stopping that. I will see you in the next match. Jumping into the last game here, again, Shadow. And we got the recruits up first, so we're going to hit him with the cry. And we're going to hit him with the recruits in the back. Definitely the most skilled first play you can make. Hopefully that pulls and gets the activation. Nice, okay. Sometimes it doesn't work if you have other troops playing in the back. Like, sometimes the archers and the fishermen will kill it before it actually activates the king tower, which is very unlucky, so. Anyways, let's go goblins here, just because he used his log. Just see if we can... Maybe force out a little more elixir than he wants to play. Okay, okay. We're playing a 2.6 player. So this is actually a pretty good matchup. Just because we really only need one good push to break through and take this guy's entire tower. So if he's a, a really, really good 2.6 player, if he plays this perfectly, it is really hard to beat him. But he already used so much elixir that I think we're just going to go in. Wow, and that was really good timing on his musketeer. So he's in trouble here. He's going to have to fireball on that. We can go for the rage. That cannon's going to get absolutely shredded and he's going to have to go, I don't know, skeletons or something, but that's a lot of damage. Yeah, look at that. We just go goblins right here on the musketeer and ice spirit. That'll kill that. And if he wants to go hog, we have fishermen ready. So his tower's already down to two, uh, 2,000 HP. Hit him with another little cry here. Just let him know that we're the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> Keep Fisherman ready, but if I get to 10 before he plays Hog, I'm going to split my archers here. There's the Hog, so we can play Fisherman. Pull that right back off a of tower. And let's just go in, honestly. He just used 4 Elixir, so why not? What's he going to do? The thing is, these guys can defend for very cheap. We do take that dash on the left, though. That's actually really, really helpful. A little bit of damage on the right. That's not uh, really what we're going for, but I mean, hey, we'll take it. Wait, that's actually a lot of damage. Wow. He's going to go hog here. Uh, I almost just lightninged preemptively. I'm glad I didn't because he didn't play hog until later. I think it probably would have missed. Let's go Goblin John on this musketeer here. I just want to block that. Okay, okay, okay. Evo skellies are a bit scary. My archer might take care of that though. Nah, I'm going to have to rage on it. That's fine. Rage, split recruits, plus minions. He's going to be forced to play the fireball on the left. But then he's going to have nothing for that evil archer. So he's in a little bit of trouble here. We can just... Wait, is he just sacrificing the left? What is he doing? <laughs> he threw. He didn't know what to do. I think he probably panicked, to be fair. He didn't have the best hand there. I think it was like log, fireball, and uh, skeletons, maybe musketeer. So he didn't have a great way to stop the goblin giant, to be fair to him, but... Anyways, I'll hit him with the good game back. I feel a little bit bad. But...
Anyways, shout out to you if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you for giving me so much of your time. I mentioned this a while ago, but if you guys are looking for a clan, feel free to join mine. It's set to invite only, but if you request, I'm going to accept you. There's really no requirements to get in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And with all that being said, I will see you in the next one.